Concrete is the most abundant building material on the planet. It's used from everything, schools, homes, highways. 7% of all greenhouse gas emissions are related to the production of cement. Our mission as a company is to reduce 500 million tons of CO2 emissions by the year 2030. That would be like taking 100 million cars off the road every year. Some of my earliest memories are, are cooking with my mom. She would pull up the stool next to the counter and give me access to the spice cabinet. I paid for my way through school cooking. I had about $10,000 in student loans. Rather than go travel the world, I, I decided to start a company. Carbon Cure was based upon my thesis at McGill University where I was researching how CO2 can be beneficially used in concrete. I like to start the day with my daughter. I'm usually up first and this allows me to wake them up, get them ready for the day, have breakfast, and if possible, get out on the paddleboard and go explore the shoreline together. Well, I guess we gotta find some kelp crabs. Got it? That's a big one. That's a big one. I'm fortunate that I live close to family. My father-in-law, Dave Green, he has been my mentor. In fact, the first time I met him, he helped me file our first patents. And ever since then, he's been at my side, sort of advising me and teaching me everything that I know about how to create a scalable clean tech company. It's something like two tons of concrete are produced every year for every person on earth. It's a huge industry, but it also presents a great opportunity to have an impact. It's a pretty simple process, is you have large piles of feedstock. The cement is in a silo and the aggregates are, are usually left outside. And then water. All those items are added proportionally into a mixer, which blends and gets the reaction started. And that's dumped into the truck. That truck delivers product to the construction site. What we do is add another ingredient, which is carbon dioxide that's stored in a high pressure tank on site. And that's injected into that mixer. We're actually improving the strength of concrete once that CO2 is injected, it's never going to revert back to CO2. The work that we're doing at Carbon Cure has a lot of parallels with how seashells are made. There's cations and calcium ions in the ocean that are reacting with CO2, forming shells. And in many ways, that's what we're doing, but under a much more condensed time frame, as we're sort of forcing that reaction to occur much faster. So just like seashells are permanent, it's a permanent solution for climate change. Part of the reason why I've been able to focus so much on business is having such a bedrock of support at home. Of course, everyone right now is thinking a lot about climate change and it's becoming a lot more real and severe in nature. Having kids over the last few years has added a completely different dimension to it. I've never felt more confident about the future of climate technologies. We just got to be focused right now on deployment and development of new solutions. This is definitely hard work with what we're trying to do, but it's also very rewarding and, and try to build something that really matters. My name is Rob Niven. I'm the CEO and founder of Carbon Cure Technologies. 